What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Alright, so today um, I'm going to be installing, well I'm going to try to see, I'm not sure that it's going to work out, but I'm going to lay it out for you guys, talk a little bit about the Amazon GSR replica or aftermarket throttle cable that I found. It's the same part number that Hyatt Racing advertises in their stuff, so I just bought it based off the part number. And then second, we have a Dorman TPS aftermarket, which you guys will see. I'll also elaborate a little bit on the difference between that and the base uh, model one, so that way you guys do not buy the wrong one. And uh, yeah, so we'll see, because I have a feeling based off what I uncover that my TPS could be faulty so you know it's always a hit and miss and um, I drew the short end of the stick and probably got a faulty TPS I believe I either got that from um, HP Autosports or a third party company on eBay but it's a Blox Racing which is the same one that I run on the EG with the box over here and I've never had any issues I calibrated it everything worked out perfectly I don't even think this one um, made it all the way to 100 but it's pretty much like 90 598 which you know I'll take it if it's at that point because I mean when I tune it'll still be pretty pretty much accurate to what I want right now on the Integra what it has it's looking clean damn, God, damn. Oh, hey, damn. yeah so with the way it's sitting at right now it's only at 86 so that's gonna cost me uh you know a couple horsepower in my opinion because you know the throttle body is not opening up completely how I want it it's not I don't think it's that effective even though it does see, say that the TPS is opening up to uh, over a hundred so I don't know but it's only reading at 86 um, and that wide open throttle body so that's not completely what I wanted now if it was giving me 90 something um, I, at that point I would just say you know what I'll cut my losses whatever I am losing and I'll just keep it but yeah enough talking about that let's get right into what we got yeah, I can't get enough of the car. I mean, I know it's not completely 100% done. I mean, engine bay, you can say I'm just fine-tuning stuff. Uh, I do have to get it prepped to what's coming for you guys. I'm going to keep you guys posted. It's going to be, I'm going to give you the date. So we're talking about roughly around October-ish. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? October-ish, yeah. It's going to, we're going to make it happen. So remember how the car is looking now because it ain't gonna look ugly no more. But uh, yeah, let's get right into this. So we do got the Dorman one here, TPS. I've never really messed with any ad other aftermarket TPS. It's crazy, I didn't even know they made this. Um, side note, do not get this in AutoZone or any parts store, it's super expensive. And I actually got this on Amazon for a whopping 28 bucks. They had it on special because I think it was 38, so not bad. Any other place you go around here, they're going to cut off your arm and then take your whole sold. Your soul is mine. Um, so yeah, so not bad. And then the only difference is, uh, this is a Type S one because of the part number. So if you guys are interested, here's the part number. All right, and then the only difference is the uh, uh, base is going to be 977-022. So make sure you don't get that because that's only for a base. But unless you're running a base, you want to do all that, then go buy it ahead. But this is a Type S. Essentially, that's what you want when you're doing uh, um, case swaps because essentially that's what you want to be running. Type S engine harness, ECU, but this one responds way better. So that's what we got there. And then the throttle body, as you guys can see, cable, we have it right here. Uh, I don't know, for me, it looks kind of short, like a little shorty, but um, let's see if it's in the box I can see. This is from Hybrid Racing, and it was the same part number, so I am hopeful that it's going to be the same. Uh, so, And then I'm going to show you guys the part number. So, yeah, so I went to Hybrid Racing's website. I thought about buying that one, but again, this is a budget bill. I am doing everything budget, showing you guys that it could be possible. I am taking a hit for you guys here, and then that was a little bit more price. I do not remember the price off the top of my head, but I know it's not it's not that cheap. Um, and let me see if here it shows you the part number, right there, small, what, 179. If you guys can see, that is the part number for a GSR cable. So this is what we got. So this, in theory, even though it does look short. Uh, I don't know. It does look short, but we'll see. We'll see. 
um, this is apparently that right there so we'll see um, once I uh, take it off and yeah but the only problem with this I believe I this is a wrong one you guys can see super long I think this is actually meant for a uh, RSX and I bought it not knowingly from hybrid racing the uh, draw cable works but it sticks a lot you know so you have to give it you have to get the gas a couple times in order for it to to um un, un like unclog or whatever but it gets stuck so much and that one once i installed that one it was just like boom, boom, easy response but yeah let's start um installing it and then also i had to measure that all right so we went ahead and um installed the tps and the cable uh it came out beautifully i went ahead and uh simulated it to the eg but this is what we got and this is what you want to see as you guys can see we do have a negative five and this is the highest i can get it with the um tps or the throttle cable opening so essentially my throttle cable as you guys can see goes all the way to 100 and that's what you should be looking at and fortunately i try my best and the maximum reading for the wire open throttle, it's only at 91.4. But hey, I will take it because with the other one, and I did not record it, it was only 86 that I got the highest. So 91 puts me at the 90 percentile, which is beautifully. Uh, if I can got, if you know, if by any chance I could have gotten like higher than that, it would have been nice. But if I keep clocking the TPS any further, it puts me at jeopardy of not being at zero percent. Uh, so that's not what you want to see. And then also, um, the idle is super, super, super high, and it's not supposed to be that way. So yeah, this puts me at what I'm supposed to be, and uh, I am going to run it like that. And keep in mind, it is an aftermarket TPS, comments and review that I set. People said it does not read uh, completely, but I'm also throwing in the factor that it could also be my throttle body. It is an aftermarket one. You know, it probably is probably not 100% and thus i am getting this but they i will take this this is what i'm going to be uh all using. right so we have the thaw body i mean the uh cable installs you guys can see it's already calibrated uh i mean i probably could move it a little bit but we're going to dictate uh tps you guys can you guys will, you guys saw that is a dormant one um and i got it calibrated to 91.4 or something like that which perfectly but we do have an issue uh, let me start off by saying uh, the rack is leaking. Fortunately, I'm not sure what happened or if it happened to if it's happened to somebody else. But essentially, the first time I noticed that I will get leaks is because I took the, U, the union or the U joint from the steering column, and then uh, after I did all that, it started leaking really bad. So I'm not sure what I messed up or what I did, but I'm probably gonna have to order a new one. I looked online if anybody knows or maybe I might find the answer before that I've seen that you can put one from a 96 to a 97 uh, Civic not sure there's also you see a Del Sol, uh, Del Sol in, in there and then obviously the Integra one because if you do if I if you do pick the Civic one when you're sh choosing online option it's a little bit way cheaper than getting the Integra one but if it's the same so I'm not I don't get it but yeah um, another bad news which I feel like you know I take I take a step forward to take 20 back um, we had this hose leaking but I was expected because the clamps not clamping on so I put another clamp in there um, I think like a warrant clamp and uh, now it stopped leaking there was a little bit of cooling but it wasn't that much and then the IAC went out they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand which it's I don't get it like I mean I had the same one from Amazon but hey I guess it's a hit and miss but yeah it's just every time I put a capro I get this little code saying that there's a issue and it finally gave sure, out right. left off but we got the search idle um from the uh IAC so I know it's already done so um I do have if you come here show you guys this is my 72 millimeter, which by the way, I threw it in and it was amazing. I just didn't want to run it because I decided to run the EVAP and all that stuff. And as you guys can see, this does not give you the option for that. Um, so yeah, and then this one right here is an RSX, which I opened up and cleaned up. You guys, you guys can see, you got aftermarket uh, bolts in there or Allen bolts. So I ended up cleaning it um, and it's been working pretty, pretty, pretty good. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this one off, and then um, 
I did buy some ultra black because there's no ultra gray. Uh, obviously, I do not live near a Honda dealership. Um, and then I am tied up for time, so I didn't order Honda Bond online as well. But we're going to be using this one um, in there to see if it helps it out. But either way, uh, I got that set back um, with the um, rack and pinion. So, yeah, another fun thing to do, and it's going to be a mission. But hey, I'm looking at options to get one. So, yeah, but yeah, let's just tackle this right now because this is what I actually started doing. And then it snowballed into something. Right, so, else. we are all done here. I went ahead and swapped the good known. Um, I went ahead and cleaned the other one. Uh, it was filthy inside. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I went ahead and cleaned it, uh, maybe in the future or whatever, but it wasn't that bad. I think it was like 25 26 bucks. 26 um, So I'm going to try this one because I already own it, and I just want to make sure that you know I don't spend any more money unnecessary, but if it doesn't work, then I guess I'll just have to buy another cheap one um, and then see if it you know works because i've been lucky with the eg one but yeah this is pretty much from a base rsx is a stock oem uh, i cleaned this one a while back ago and it worked perfectly fine after that and yeah so i'm letting it open so it can dry up uh do have the because they didn't have the ultra gray like i wanted so the only thing they had close to it was this one the ultra black but um, I don't really like it. I feel like it takes forever to dry. And it's just, I don't know, I'm not a big fan. But, you know, I'll probably order a Honda Bond. And what I hate about the Honda Bond is, like, you open it up. You can seal it all you want. And it just ends up drying up. Uh, this happened to me in the past. I don't know if it's just because it's so hot in here. But it's just, you know, you waste all that money. And then it just dries up when you need it. But um, hopefully that one lasts. Um, do not like it. But... Like I said, they didn't have the ultra gray, so I, I just went with that. But yeah, um, hopefully it works. I'm not going to be turning it on. I'm going to give it some hours for it to actually dry, maybe a day or two. And, and then I'll turn it on to see how is it responding um, with the you know, with the new calibration that I put in, which is a stock uh, Key 28-2 Type Bass. I also went ahead and ordered a aftermarket rack and pinion. Um, that's going to be fun uh, to you know take that out you know more stuff to do but that's pretty much going to be probably like an all-day thing for me uh, when i decide to do it in the scorching sun you guys can see which is going to suck but as you can see down there it's leaking and then my reservoir has dwelled a lot so yeah we can't be having that so i'm going to change it out fill it up again bleed it hopefully this time we are good but yeah, that's, you know, this just sucks, but it is part of it. It is an old car. Um, you know, like I said, the maintenance was really neglected. A lot of stuff was shot, beat up bad, but we're going to get it up to part. So yeah, order that as well. The Integra is going to go into a big chain. For everybody, I forgot to record an outro. That's going to conclude the video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Budget Integra content. See you, Cashew guys.